want to know how to add a cool light to dark mode like this into your website we'll stick around to the end of this video first of all what you want to do of course is open up webflow then we want to create a section here so we're going to add a div name it section give it 100 view height flex vertical align center and just apply center then we want to add in another div here and we'll add in two divs in fact and then within the second div we're going to add in a two headings one's going to be a h1 other's going to be a h2 and then we're going to finish off with an image and we're going to give this image class of image width 20 em now for this heading here we're going to call this h1 remove the margin and let's just name this florium then i'm just going to put in some text for this second div i'm going to name it h2 the text i'm going to add is just some random waffle nature is the world's most precious asset let's Okay, brilliant now what we want to do is we want to select this div we want to give that flex horizontal vertical and some padding on either side we're going to go for 10 em in fact no 20 em either side and page two and just set that to horizontal align now instead of instead of pixels we want to use em for our padding and our margin okay. should do it now over here with this div block what i want to do is i want to add in a div and then i want to add another div and i want to add a third div and then essentially i'm just going to be putting in two divs inside this div and i'm going to call this button position button container button outline and then button circle now i'm going to apply a position absolute top right of the page then the next thing we want to do is we want to add some margin top and right to this so we can just yeah. so we can get that away from the center of the page like that and then on bottom position i might want to apply flex in fact no i don't want to apply flex i'll apply it here horizontal left align center button outline width 100 percent height 40 m container height 40 m width let's go for 10 em so this button outline is going to be 100 percent of this container's width which is of course 10 em and the next i want to choose our button circle give it a high of 40 m as well with 45 percent for button outline i'm going to choose outline 0.3 em color black of course and then border border radius i'll go for 26 pixels so now i'll go for 0.3, 1 em, 3 em, that might do. Button circle, go for 50%. I position absolute here. Brilliant. Now, for our border color, we'll go for 3 m black. I don't see how that looks here. That's all right. In fact, no, I don't want a border. I'll do one, but I'll just add a black color. Yeah, that works. Now, we're going to click button circle. We're going to go to our animation panel. I'm going to create a new animation and we're going to call it dark mode and essentially we want to move this button first then we want to change the background color of this button circle then i want to apply a filter in the outline then i want to change i want to select the body tag this is the most important part we're going to because essentially all of our text colors come from the body so we're going to get the body and we're going to change the background color of the body but also the text color of the body and then we're all going to we're going to make sure all of these are set as initial states let me do that quickly okay now i'm gonna now i'm gonna duplicate all of these that's brilliant and so for this what's this text color black button circle zero button circle background color black outline and we're gonna go invert we're gonna place it on zero percent and then body background color white and then for this i'm gonna have to select all of our animations and make sure they're on 0.3 seconds as well as easing out and then when I select on the text color, I want it to turn to white, background color, I want it to turn to black, button outline, filter, invert, 100%, button circle, background color, white, button circle, move, we'll go for 5em, let's see how that works here, 5em works, and then save, and then now when we check the animation, yep, that's brilliant, works exactly how I wanted it to, so, let me see, I've already got another dark mode, I'm just going to delete these, don't worry about these. 
Now what I want to do is I want to select this dark mode. Let me create a second animation and I want to duplicate it. And I'm going to name this light mode. And essentially, I'm going to just select all of these first initial states and I'm going to delete these second states. And then with these initial states, I'm going to remove the initial state. I'm going to apply duration point three and then ease in out. And just like that, we have our second animation. So now when we test it out, works perfectly, but it's a little bit too fast on the second click. So I'm just going to change that. Ease in out. Yeah, let's just go for point four seconds on the out outro. See how that works. Aha, I know the issue. That button is moving, snapping back too quickly. So we'll instead go for zero EM. Four seconds duration. Let's see how that works. Yeah, that's it. There we go. Okay, that's the tutorial, guys. Like and follow for more. Make sure to subscribe. See you guys later.